Here's everything you need to know if you want to get into amazing ripped shape, specifically on diet and nutrition, all right? I believe in two things, and this is what I've used. I've tried a lot of different diets, keto, uh, uh, intermittent fasting, fasting, carnivore. Man, I've tried them all, right? I've tried different meal plans. I've tried a lot of different things. And what it comes down to as there is value in being doing keto and intermittent fasting and carnivore and all these different diets you can do um at the end of the day it comes down to these two things that i highly recommend for everyone to do because it got, has gotten me a lot of success and it's gotten my clients a lot of success which is first and foremost i talk about it all the time food choices right because if you're not making the right food choices if you're putting bull crap in your mouth you're going to feel and look like crap, right? You are what you eat. So it's having the right food choices. And number two is macronutrition. Calories, proteins, carbs, and fats, right? If you're having the right amount of calories, proteins, carbs, and fats, along with the right food choices, you will look and feel your absolute best. Now there's a lot of analytics and uh, details to this that's specifically designed for the individual based off their genetics, based off, the, based off their height, their weight, their gender, um, their activity levels, all these different things that can determine if this is gonna work out or not, right? But if you're gonna make the right food choices when it comes to your proteins, carbs, and fats, you're gonna look and feel a lot better. And if you're eating the right amount of calories, proteins, carbs, and fats, it's gonna allow you to build the muscle you want, have the body you want, body fat percentage, leanness, right? So I talk about this all the time. When it comes to protein, we're gonna have chicken, lean chicken, chicken breast, lean turkey, 90% or leaner. If you're going to have beef, 90% or leaner beef. You can have, you can have steak, like maybe like once a week. I wouldn't overdo it. I wouldn't overdo it too much, guys. Um, tuna, tilapia, right? You're going to have uh, any of these lean meats are going to allow you to have that lean body look. Right when it comes, that's for your proteins. So those are the food choices when it comes to your proteins. With your macros, track everything on my fitness pal. Again, my fitness pal. There's your proteins. Okay, number two is your carbs, carbohydrates. Okay, you're going to have the right food choices. For the most part, jasmine rice, brown rice, red potatoes, white potatoes, golden potatoes. Uh, depending if you're gluten or intolerant or not, I would recommend whole wheat, noodles and bread, this and that, over white bread and things like that. It's more of a complex carbohydrate, means it takes more calories to burn it. It burns over a longer period of time. It breaks down over a long period of time, so it gives you more consistent long-term energy versus just short bursts like sugar, like candy, like white bread. Like any of that stuff, it might give you instant energy, but it burns down real quick and you'll burn out, right? So that's for carbohydrates. And number three is your fats, you know, fish oil. Um, you're going to have salmon. You're going to have olive oil, coconut oil. You're going to have nuts, Brazilian nuts, cashews, almonds, right? And now how much proteins, carbs, and fats you're going to have? Well, simple rule of thumb is take your body weight times 10. That's how many calories you're going to eat. If you want to lose weight, get shredded. If you want to build muscle times by 20. So if you're 200 pounds times by 20, that's going to be 4,000 calories. If you're 200 pounds and you want to get ripped and shredded times 10, that's 2,000 calories, right? Same thing with your protein and carbs. You want one gram of protein per body pound. So if you're 200 pounds, it's going to be 200 grams of protein if you're building muscle or losing fat, okay? Uh, if you're bulking or shredding, right? And then typically the more of a deficit, meaning more starvation phase you're going through when it comes to getting lean, you might want to raise that to 1.2 grams per, per body pound, right? But to keep it simple, one gram of protein per body pound, regardless if you're cutting or, or bulking, carbohydrates times by one. If you're, if you're uh, shredding, and then if you're in a lean bulk phase, in times by 1.5 or 2, depending if you're struggling with putting on weight or not. And fat, like we said before, just times by 0.25. Um, you want to be relatively on a low-fat diet. Even if you're in a lean muscle building phase, I recommend going lighter on the fat. Before you start raising the fat, just continue to raise your calories through carbohydrates. And then eventually slowly start increasing the fat. Again, with healthy fats, with the right food choices. So again, all you guys need to learn about is macros 
and the proper food choices. That's all you need for diet. That's all you need for the lifestyle, the look and feel your absolute best. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss a video and share with your family and friends. It's Devin Kripe. I believe in you. God bless. See you guys next time. Peace.